I'm Vicky Payne, I'm a holistic vet in East Sussex. Um, I work both doing home visits and also in various practices around uh, East Sussex and Kent. This is Quincy, he's a 10 year old working Springer Spaniel um, and I'm going to go through him a little bit and tell you some of the benefits that I find from raw feeding for my own dogs and for my patients. So what I do as a holistic vet, um, I actually use a whole range of therapies to diagnose and treat animals. So um, I will use diet is, is something that I use an awful lot of. Also herbal medicines. Um, I practice acupuncture, especially for musculoskeletal conditions and recovering from injuries. But I also use conventional medicines as well. Um, there are some conditions for which conventional medicines may be the only way that we can treat them. Um, we may use those alongside herbal medicines and, and other treatments as well. Um, I don't shy away from vaccinations, but I do look at using them uh, in as little as possible um, and in a way that's suited to that particular dog or cat. Um, so I think I'm slightly unusual in that I do encompass everything. I even do surgery as well where it's appropriate. This is Quince, he's a 10 year old working Springer Spaniel. He's been raw fed since he was about two years old. Um, before that he was on conventional kibble dog food with bones a couple of times a week for his teeth simply because I didn't have room for storing frozen raw meat. Um, I do think it's helped keep him in remarkable condition. Um, he still works every day. Um, it's a very active dog. We'll start at the front end. Um, I think the most important benefit most people will see when they feed their dogs a raw diet, including some bones, is nice clean teeth. Um, so we've got the teeth there. There is a risk from feeding large broad bones that they can break teeth, but by sticking to smaller bones, um, chicken carcasses, chicken wings, rib bones especially, then you do minimise the risk of damage to the teeth. Um, there are statistics showing that most three out of four dogs by the age of four years old will have dental disease, and as you can see we have a dog here with no dental disease. Um, He's got nice bright eyes and a special problem for Springer Spaniels uh, can be ear infections. Again, we do seem to find that some dogs that are fed highly processed diets, especially those with a very high grain content, will generally have less ear infections and less skin problems if they switch to a raw diet or one with a high meat content and a low grain content. So again, Quincy can demonstrate his nice clean ears. I tend to be able to recognise dogs that are on a raw diet um, through how they feel. They tend to have a much more dense muscle structure and much less subcutaneous fat. Uh, and I've spoken to massage therapists as well who have a little, they have a little guessing game. They can definitely guess the raw fed dogs. So we've got large amounts of good quality muscle here. I think also by feeding bones, a lot of people use joint supplements and I do use joint supplements as well. But I think for a lot of dogs, they're getting cartilage um, from eating raw bones, especially whole carcass. Um, and anything, anything we're putting in that can help um, the joints is, is a good thing there. So Quince is showing very little sign of wear and tear, which is excellent. Um, working dogs need to have good resilient waterproof coats and again the increased fat that raw fed dogs tend to be eating does mean that he's got a lovely waterproof coat there. Um, we see less skin problems on raw fed dogs um, and it can be something that I will sometimes discuss with owners who've got a dog with skin problems. It's not a magic cure but an awful lot of these dogs will get a lot better and they will need far less of the conventional medication, especially in the long run than they would if we left them on commercial diets. Um, a slightly sensitive problem, uh, a lot of dogs suffer with anal gland impactions and need to come to the vets or the groomers regularly to have those emptied. By eating especially raw bones, um, they pass through the system, they form quite a hard um, dropping uh, and that seems to be very good at emptying the anal glands. So as the dog does that harder dropping, it empties its own anal glands naturally. In addition, some dogs with anal gland problems, again, seem to be sensitive to either processed foods or to high grain foods. So reducing the amount of those in the diet is ideal. From an owner's point of view, they get much less poop out of the dog. And I think everybody agrees that that's a good thing. Um, it can be suitable for dogs with digestive problems, not all dogs with digestive problems. Um, certainly if they've had a lot of infections and things like that, it may be safer to feed cooked homemade diets before you move on to raw diets. 
Um, but most healthy dogs, their high, their low stomach acidity, so a very acidic stomach, and the fast gut transit time means that they're not at risk of food poisoning from eating raw meat in the same way that humans are. But obviously, it's really important that you choose good quality meat and meat that's not off. If you feed anything off meat, it's going to cause problems. Um, Raw diets are suitable for most dogs. I don't recommend them always with dogs that have got immune system problems and may not be able to deal with the bacteria on raw meat in a normal way. Um, or for very elderly and frail dogs. Sometimes those are better with either a lightly cooked food like the Nature's Menu pouches um, or with the owner's home cooking. Um, and I'll often add some herbs into there as well. There's a lot of culinary herbs that are ideal for dogs with digestive problems. I like a bit of ginger for old dogs, for instance. Um, I tend to add garlic to most of my uh, raw dog's diets. Um, there is a lot of controversy about garlic. It is toxic in large quantities, um, but a clove for a 20 or 30 kilo dog five days out of seven is entirely safe. Uh, may help with parasites, may help with gut infections, uh, and they do seem to love the taste.